taking three into their outer port. 12-15-01 Dix goes back to the trench and works with 10-24 on not only collecting balls, but shooting at the same time during their auton. Forty-two seventy-two works on collecting all of the power cells from their trench. Twelve fifteen oh one does the same. And they shoot from the edge of their trench and successfully get one into their outer port. Forty-two seventy-two and sixty-nine fifty-six are working in tandem to get several into their outer port. Fifteen oh one makes one into the outer port. 10-24 trying to make some in, but 76-17 is playing defense on them, making it not only difficult for them to shoot, but also to collect power cells. 42-72 successfully gets power cells into their outer port. Well, it looks like 40-08 is trying to go a ball out from underneath their bumper. 10-24 and 15-01 working together to get several power cells into their outer port, while 42-72 is in their loading zone trying to collect more power cells. 69.56 working on getting some into their outer port as well. In 15.01, staying in the safety of their trench, trying to shoot, while 10.24 is trying to shoot despite getting played on defense by 76.17. 15.01 continuing to shoot from the safety of their trench while all three red Bots are on the blue side shooting. 10-24 still trying to shoot while 71-16 continues playing defense while 15-01 shoots from their trench. 42-72 working on shooting despite having 40,008 right in front of them. 69-56 trying to get some last minute shots off while 15-01 and 42-72 get ready for end game. 42-72 successfully latches onto the middle of the rung while 10-24 is trying to do the same. 1501 remains parked in the rendezvous point while 7617 also joins. Looks like 1501 is thinking about trying to get a climb on there. And we are ready to see the results of qualification match 56. The winner is the Blue Alliance. Winning 140 to 124, moving 1501 into rank eight.